Alright guys, got a new video blog for you. Keep getting emails and I see comments and hundreds of emails a week now about failing to meet expectations, lack of success. And it's not it's not just in the gym, it's it's actually more. It's um, you know, failing in school, your job, relationships. Now let me start this off by saying that I'm not speaking to you from experience of success. I'm speaking to you of experience of failure. I have failed more times and more things in my life than most of you will ever do. I swear to God, my resume of failures is long and extensive. However, there was a, there was a point in my life where I learned from my failures. And I learned that the number one factor, the most important factor in determining your success or failure in any endeavor, be it in school, business, sports, relationships, is personal accountability. Allow me to explain. I can directly remember when my football career ended, failed. And a lot of people say, well, you know, you, you got a college scholarship or you, you got a chance in the NFL. <clears throat> you know, consider that a success. In some ways you can, but I, I will be brutally honest. I underperformed. Um, I did not exceed or meet the expectations that many had of me, that I had of myself, my parents had of me. Not to saying that, you know, I wanted to make a career playing professional football, but I could have done more with what I was given, the tools that were that were instilled in me, uh, the hard work, the skill set that was provided. I could have done more, and I didn't. I failed to meet expectations. When I failed, when I was back home, you know, going through the process of now, I'm like, what am I going to do next in my life? You know, go to grad school, you know, start in business. What, what was I going to do next? I pointed the finger at everybody else. I pointed the finger at, you know, wasn't in the right system. That's why I was released and, I, you know, I had a knee injury and, um, you know, any excuse I could make. And at, at that time, for many years after, I firmly believed that those were the reasons. I didn't have enough self-confidence. I didn't have, I wasn't able to remove my ego from the situation long enough to examine my own insufficient personal accountability. Got into business, invested in a company, same scenario, failed to meet expectations, lost the investment, and then some, because of my own personal lack of personal accountability. It's one of the hardest things to do to look back on your failures. It's bad enough to fail, but it's one of the hardest things to do to look back and, and face the true value of what you've done. or lack thereof, and to have the courage to, to really say, well, this relationship failed, or with my boyfriend or girlfriend, or failed to meet expectations in school, or with my job, because of my own personal accountability. It's a tough pill to swallow. And I'll tell you right now, at you know, 29, 30 years old, I sat up one day, and I looked in the mirror, and I didn't like the person that I'd become. And I'll be brutally honest, you know, you, we see social media, we, we see these lives that people portray, and we think that... We look at them, we envy them, and we think that everything is all, you know, rainbows and kittens and, and you know, wonderful lifestyle. That's not the fucking case. And anyone who try, like, leads you to believe that they have this perfect fucking life is a fucking liar. It's not the case. And that's why I wanted to do this video blog to let you know that it's okay to fail. You have to fail. It's what you do with your failure. How do you, how do you find personal accountability? How do you plan ahead and instill yourself with responsibility to that accountability so next time you face a situation where it is success or fail, you're able to succeed. Don't allow a lack of personal accountability to be your reason for failure. You can fail in a number of ways that, that are out of your control. That's going to happen. You can't succeed at everything. But it is, it is the biggest regret, and like I said, the toughest pill to swallow when it's personal accountability. If you don't have personal accountability for your actions, you're going to walk away with regret that's going to stain you and mark you for the rest of your life. And let me tell you right now, guys, it is no way to live. Take responsibility for your actions. 
If you're not losing weight in the gym or making the gains you want, look at the actions in your life. Are you going out and partying every weekend? Are you, 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 are you binge eating? Are you working hard enough? Look at your relationship. Did your relationship fail? Take personal accountability. Stop pulling the finger at everybody else. Where did it go wrong on your end? I'm telling you right now, you can't fix the past, but you can change the future. And if you don't have the balls and courage to look at yourself, to look hard in the fucking mirror and realize that, that your failures are a determinant of personal account, a lack of personal accountability, you're never going to make it anywhere in life. You're going to die a, a slow death full of regret. And that's no, that's no way to go out, guys. I swear to God. When you can get over that hump, that, that insecurity of addressing real issues in your life, it's like, it's like getting the monkey off your back. It's like unleashing the chains and being free. I can tell you the turning point in my life, you know, I was talking about I was 29 or 30 and, and looking hard in the mirror and not liking who I was. And it's a funny thing because I thought I had achieved success to that point. I thought I, my life had become a success. And it wasn't until I took that long, hard look and I took responsibility for my failures and lack of personal accountability that I was able to find real success. It's ironic how that works. You have to learn from your mistakes, but you have to understand why those mistakes happened. You have to remove your ego long enough to see the truth. It's one thing to admit failure, failed relationships, you know, didn't perform in school, the athletic field, or in your job. It's a whole completely different ball game when you can examine the fundamentals of why you failed. Personal accountability is the most determining factor in failure or success. Don't leave anything to chance, guys. Examine the details of the issues in your life. Like I said, school job. These are easy things to address as far as personal account. I don't give a shit if you don't like your job. It's better than being jobless. Better than being unemployed. If you don't like your current circumstances or current situation, you have the power to go out and change it. But it doesn't happen by chance. There are no free rides in this world. Our economy is not what it was when our, when our parents were when the economy was booing or even 15 years ago. You have to work three times as hard to make half, make half as much money and the deck is fucking stacked against you. But it doesn't mean it can't happen. You have to want it, but you have to do it with a, with a sense of personal accountability and responsibility. Hard work isn't enough anymore. I want everyone to be a success. I get so many emails of, you know, you guys are, are you know, relationships didn't work out, or your job, you got fired, and, and you, you know, you're, you're blaming your boss because they didn't see the potential in you. It's your job to show them the potential. But that may take time. You wanna know the truth, guys? I'll tell you a story that I've told very few people. <clears throat> when I was done playing football, my career fizzled out. And, um, you know, I, I got, started, got into grad school. Um, went to work for one of my friend's companies. Um, one of my best friends. And, uh, you know, when his father and him brought me in, um, you know, we had an understanding that I was gonna be able to work and go to graduate school. Um, but I literally started at, at, a, at a minimum wage job. And here I am going to school and graduate school, but the CEO of the company, he wanted me to take, have personal accountability for the business. He saw potential in me and so did his son who was my friend who, who was elder than me. They saw potential, but they wanted to see how long I could remove my ego from the situation. Could I go from playing in the NFL big paychecks, parties, being on TV, the limelight, to working in a warehouse, understanding the, the basis, the fundamental systems of the operation and working my way. And I'll tell you, it is the hardest, it was the biggest ego check in the world to one year playing in professional sports, people admire you, to the next minute you're in a warehouse working in, next to a guy who had done time and, and he's questioning, he's like, well, what did you do? Why? I followed you in college and uh, you know, saw you playing, and why are you here? It gave me a new appreciation for opportunities. And I worked my way up, I worked my way up in the company to then at one point running the operations of the business. 
but I had to remove my ego. I had to accept personal accountability for my actions and my failures. I never would have done that if I had not had that forced humbleness upon me. And it made me a better person, but it was the hardest pill to swallow. But it had to happen. Anytime you achieve success in one area of your life or perceive success, as soon as it happens, you need to forget about it and move on in a different direction. The longer you wither and look and examine your success, the more complacent you're going to become. The lack of a personal accountability you're going to have going forward. Like I said, guys, ego is the enemy of success. Dismiss the ego. Focus on what's next. Don't allow yourself to be a casualty of controllable circumstances. When I say controllable circumstances, there are certain certain things that are out of control, certain things that are in your control. Don't allow yourself to be a casualty of controllable circumstances, meaning personal accountability, lack of responsibility for your actions. I promise you guys, if you can focus on your personal accountability, it doesn't matter if it's your career or something small like a friendship, your love life, you know, it's studying for class or school, it's a domino effect. I swear to God it is a domino effect and things will fall into place. Once you develop a good habit and you're able to remove that ego on one part of your life, it's easier to do in other areas, but there has to be a starting point. There has to be a concrete, a fundamental step from which to build on. If you don't do that, you're going to be living a life of lies. Don't live a life of lies, guys. You'll end up with nothing but regret. I want everybody to be the ultimate success that's why I'm trying to speak to you, not from someone who's may have found some small success in their life. It's from someone who's, I've had 10 lifetimes of failures. I wish I could do a, a video blog and, and list off all my failures. There's not enough tape in the world, even though it's digital. But there really isn't. But trust me when I tell you guys, I have failed over and over and over and over. And the fundamental principle for my failures has been lack of personal accountability. My only regret is that it took me long enough to realize it. But it's never too late, guys. And I promise you, your level of happiness will grow by leaps and bounds once you understand and recognize where you went wrong with your lack of personal accountability. Hope I didn't talk in circles too much. I hope this video blog was helpful. I've gotten so many emails and I was just motivated to get this video done. Um, you know, keep writing your, you know, sending in your questions, guys. And, and I really, really appreciate the fact that so many of you. You know, the website has grown so much, but so many of you, it's about more than fitness. Because, guys, working out is nothing more than a metaphor for life. It is not life. It is an hour out of the day. But it's a metaphor for how you live life. If you slack in, in something simple and menial like the gym, which is just physical labor, chances are you're going to be lazy elsewhere in your life. When you can develop good work habits on something so simple, it's going to breed a foundation, a building block for work ethic elsewhere. And it steamrolls, guys. It's a domino effect. I hope this helped, guys. Try to do more video blogs, you know, as I get, uh, you know, inspired by the, the emails you guys are sending. Keep sending your emails. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, if you have specific questions, keep sending them in. You know, I, I try to address them individually. A lot of guys, you have personal questions, especially you ladies. Um, you know, if you, if you have something that you, you think that you want to see addressed in a public forum, you know, then, uh, you know, shoot me a, a, an email. You know, through the website and you know title it you know video blog idea or something you'd like to see me answer in depth in video um, you know and I'll do my best hey guys thanks stay tuned